The Sopranos' Road to Respect represents another sad attempt to capitalize off the success of a popular film or TV series. Around the mid-2000s, more companies like THQ were creating games based on popular films, particularly in the crime genre. Some examples include The Godfather, licensed under EA, and Scarface, The World is Yours, under Vendelli Games. The wave of crime-based video games was largely inspired by the popularity of Grand Theft Auto and other open-world games. But much of it also had to do with the fascination of the original films themselves. Many of the most popular gangster films in history came out in theaters long before I was born. And the few that did come out in the early 90s, I was way too young to see. Many kids, much like me, discovered these films watching them on AMC or in HBO in most cases. When it comes to television, there was no better crime TV series than The Sopranos. This HBO crime drama ran from 1999 to 2007. The series won around 21 Primetime Emmy Awards and five Golden Globes. Created by David Chase, The Sopranos revolved around mobster Tony Soprano, played by the late actor James Gandolfini. Like many mobsters portrayed in TV and films, Tony Soprano had all the characteristics of a violent sociopath, but he was also a family man, a good and loyal friend to have, and an overall generous person. Oftentimes, he would struggle with balancing family life and criminal activities. The Sopranos wasn't just about Tony Soprano, it was a larger glimpse of mafia life in the 21st century. It lacked the sheer glorification of mafia life seen in plenty of other movies by then. Instead, it was a window into the practical problems that the criminal organization would run into by the 21st century. Besides balancing criminal and family life, the Mafia also had to deal with the growth of newer and more sophisticated rackets, or training new generations of mobsters who lacked the traditional values of older mobsters. The show also gave the audience a look at how Mafia members fit into society and coexisted among law-abiding citizens. The show itself also showed the ugly ins and outs of being in the Mafia but also had plenty of humor and quality moments that made the characters all the more relatable. In late 2006, when the last eight episodes of the show were in production, HBO would try to capitalize on The Sopranos more with the THQ licensed video game adaptation The Sopranos Roll to Respect. I doubt few people remember this game coming out when it did, I sure don't. It was probably for the best. Along with being one of the worst games of 2006, Road to Respect is a sheer middle finger to fans of the beloved HBO series. It lacked the interesting story or charm of the series, and instead gave players a rather generic experience with little to no replay value. And why is that? Despite the obvious flaws you see in this footage, The Sopranos game had everything going against it. Released on November 9th of 2006 officially, Road to Respect was published under THQ, a company with a long history of releasing god-awful licensed games with various IPs, and the game was developed by none other than Seven Studios, a developer who also had a history of releasing crappy licensed games. As to how and why they were given the Sopranos rights to create a video game adaptation, I know nothing! Nothing! Seriously, what the hell was HBO thinking? Why didn't they just ask Rockstar to do a game for The Sopranos? That would have been awesome. Imagine free roaming around New Jersey, the Garden State, and driving around Tony on a regular basis. Assisting him with running rackets for gambling and clubs, performing hits on rival gangsters, regulating the community like a real mobster. In case you were wondering, you don't do anything like that in Road to Respect. Unlike other crime-based games, Road to Respect is completely linear in its story and mission delivery. You play as Joey LaRocca, the illegitimate son of Big Pussy Bumpin' Saro. He instantly goes from stealing purses to becoming a low-level enforcer in the family. And you spend the entire game performing jobs to eventually get made in the Soprano organization. And if you're not familiar with Mafia terms, just know that getting made is a big deal. It means you become untouchable and that no one can harm you without expecting retribution. But also means that if you speak about the family to outsiders, well, that means death. Which, speaking of, this is the reason why Big Pussy ends up dying in season two. Throughout the entire game, Joey is visited by the ghost of his late father, who reminds him from time to time to obey the rules and not to quit the organization which actually kills him. Man, Big Pussy really was a family man, even in the grave. 
As Joey serves the Soprano family, he helps with a potential war with the Jersey Mafia and the Philly-based Mafia. The timeline for the events in the game is kind of confusing. Road to Respect takes place sometime between late Season 5 and early Season 6, but the story itself doesn't seem to incorporate any events related to what was happening in the show. That's pretty disappointing if you're a fan of the series. As expressed by David Chase, the show's creator, back in 2006, the TV narrative and the gameplay narrative were completely different. In fact, it wasn't his idea to do a game for his creation at all. The actual story was a simple plot written way back during the production of Season 1. So my question is, why even bother to do a Sopranos game if you're not going to incorporate any of these story arcs from the show? And that's because David Chase, the show's creator, never wanted to make a game adaptation for the show. It was all the desire of HBO to do one. Now, perhaps they were trying to build up more hype for the series. After all, this game was made during the production of the final eight episodes of the show. But by just looking at the presentation, you can tell this game was a straight up rush job. Each of the character models are just hard to look at. Well, maybe not Tony. He shares a slight resemblance to Winnie the Pooh Bear. On top of that, each cutscene with the exception of two are played by slow and clunky animations. And while the developers did incorporate some key locations from the show, such as the Bada Bang and the Pork Store, they look awful and not much thought was put into design in them. Although the animations and designs of the characters are pretty bad, any fan of the show will appreciate the wonderful voice work done by the original actors. Hearing these voices was kind of bittersweet for me, considering that in 2007 we would lose James Gandolfini, and years later we would lose Tony Cicero. Regardless, it was still great to hear these guys once more, as they were people on the show who you sometimes loved or hated. No, no, please, I'm sorry. See how it works when you're one of us? Someone's always got your back. Of course, you ain't ever gonna be one of us. Nice try, kid. This is direct from Tony. Essentially, the game is nothing more than a brawler. All the missions in the game are heavily combat focused. Now, that wouldn't be too far off from the show, as yeah, there was plenty of violence. But unfortunately, combat in the game is practically broken. Joey can perform a quick or strong attack and a grapple to mix things up. And there are a variety of combos you can use. But most of the time, you'll just end up mashing one button repeatedly. If you can weaken someone enough, you can perform a special finisher that involves inflicting more pain in certain areas. You can also use objects around you to finish off opponents, but there's little variety to make it that much fun. Controlling Joey in a fight is not the easiest, especially since he can be brought down to the ground by basically anyone. Eventually, you do get a gun, but you don't really use it all that much. Road to Respect has what's called a respect system. Basically, if you use a gun in public, you lose respect. If you lose enough respect, uh, well. Yeah, don't lose respect, ever. On paper, this sounds like an interesting game mechanic, and it could have served the game really well, but it's barely a forethought once you get to the later half of the game. The respect meter really only applies to public areas, and in the later part of the game, you fight more restricted areas. The gun in the game couldn't be worse. That's right, I said gun. There's only one, and it's awful. Besides being inaccurate,
game released for the PlayStation 2 this same year. The makers of that game not only incorporated the story and plot from the original film, but also allowed the player to experience some of the most memorable parts of the film firsthand through the missions in the game. Road to Respect fails to do this very thing that made The Godfather a decent video game adaptation. Instead of allowing the player to experience the memorable moments in the show, it gave players a boring and unclear story with repetitive combat missions. If you're a fan of The Soprano Show, I'm sure you can find some excuse to play this game. Like I said, I really did enjoy the wonderful voice work done by the original actors from the show. In a few scenes, particularly the one when Joey is officially made, brought some tears to my eye. But other than that, this game definitely deserves a boat ride. Well, that just about concludes the smoky review of The Sopranos' Roll to Respect. If you like this video, well, make sure you hit the like button. And make sure you subscribe to Smoking Fiend Productions. This is Bob signing off. Peace out, guys, and thank you for watching.